Hey guys, so the reality of the situation at MetaZoo is very, very grim to, I guess, the point in time where it's just this bad. So you have the owner, Mike. He is number two. His name is Andy. Nick and Strength Pokemon made a video about this, but even I have heard rumors. And the rumors are, as confirmed by Nick and Strength Pokemon, that there was preference for the female artist, like Lily. And he didn't mention that name, but that's a name I've heard many times. And I assume Lily and Andy may be dating. So what happened was Andy got control of the company. And the first thing he did was he pushed the artist out. How did he do this? He cut their workload. He made them submit artwork that got disapproved and they weren't paid. He lowered their pay rates. Um, it, it's one thing, I mean, it's very clear he's making a move, right? Uh, he wants to get all the female artists together and maybe hire even more. This is... You know, when you own a company, when you're the CEO of the company, Andy, you cannot and you should not be dating your subordinates. You should not be dating your vendors or employees and then favoring them once they say yes to your date. And this is the disaster that is MetaZoo. It is no ethics, no morals, bankrupt, corrupt, ethically bankrupt would be the term I would use. So I don't know who else is left to support MetaZoo. Maybe Argos is left. But after Nick and Strength did his reporting on why the artist left, which I'm sure Argos knew as well. He's got his ear to the ground, it seems. He knows a lot more, right? Uh, and yet he's still very positive about this um, individual, this Andy Sean, right? Andy Chan. Then you got Alpha Investments. The guy is the face of MetaZoo. Like, he, he's literally the face of MetaZoo. No one can tell me otherwise. He's got multiple promos of himself. He's still got promos. I mean, it got to the point where F the artist, right? I mean, he'll, he'll just make, he'll just draw his own promo of himself to sell to the dumbasses. But the MetaZoo has a severe problem right now. And it's the same problem that has existed since the beginning, which is bad management. Bad management, man, where they're buying Lambos and not paying art. The artists are not being paid that much to begin with. When I had a full-time artist until recently, I was paying her. She lived in the Philippines, mind you. So she wasn't even in the U.S. I was paying her more than the MetaZoo artist was. Uh, the MetaZoo, this supposedly huge game, the artists are being paid $100, $200. Three hundred dollars, maybe in artwork. That's a lot for the IP, man. They're getting, and maybe they're newer artists, and they're just trying to get their name out there. I, I guess I could see that, but they're not getting paid anything close to what a Magic the Gathering or a industry artist is getting paid. They're being heavily, heavily underpaid. We can make fun of their artwork all we want, but at the same point, you know, they're being paid thirty to fifty thousand dollars a year on a good year and a bad year seems like they're making much much less than that they're not going to be able to survive it wasn't about artists getting paid more it was about artists making enough money that they can afford their bills and family right not everyone gets to have intercourse with uh, andy sean right to uh increase the revenues sean right i mean i don't want to sound callous but i mean nick you know, he basically spelled it out, and I've heard of this, right? I've heard of this lily Sean character for a while now. I didn't really know how to incorporate her in my videos, but if you watch my older video, people will be coming, oh, you're lying about this, this didn't happen. Um, the KFC guy, he made a video about it very early on, and I was like, okay, and then I heard rumors about it. Like, you understand, like, this is a, I mean, it's a trading card company. These rumors will come out. And, oh, defamation. I don't give a shit, man. I'm a lawyer. You think I give a shit if Andy Sand shoes me? For, I, then I get the, I get everything. Text messages to Lily Sand. And, I mean, I'm going to expose it all, man. <laughs> you know me. 
I'm going to post them all here. All the text messages. Look, man. Um, this company is failing because it is... It's failing because the guy is thinking with his second brain, not his first brain. Right? He's got to impress the female artist. Got to hire some more. I mean, you understand. Like, if you watch Tiger King, there's that one character. And he's, like, really shady as hell. And all he does is hire, like, young females interested in tigers when they're 18. And then he basically grooms them, right? This sounds, like, similar. You know, I mean, this ain't no Tiger King, but it's Metapoo, right? Like, I, I am very concerned about the safety of the <laughs> individuals currently left. Um, and if you don't like it, hey, man, don't support it. Why would anyone buy this game? Let me, let me point this out to you. They hate the players. They refuse to pay something as easy as $20,000. I can write that check today to one of my employees if they needed it. Come on, man. You're an effing business making, according to Nick and Strength, $50 million revenue. Which you should be able to take a loan, even if you had to, on that basis of the revenue and then be able to pay it off. And then it's done. No one ever has to talk about this issue again. But uh, you don't. Because you're either an idiot or you just love the pain, right? And then you got Rudy Chan, you're the face of the game, saying there's a less than 1% chance and he has never said it was investable. That's how bad it is, right? When Rudy Chan has to turn back the hands of time to rub his hands off this thing. Yikes, man. I mean, I, mean, I, I want to summarize this really, really basic thing for you guys. I think MetaZoo content creators are a very special breed of human beings. They support a game, an idea of a game, I guess. And they haven't backed down. They, they still love the game. But the game doesn't love you. It, it really doesn't. And if you imagine supporting corruption, ethically bankrupt CEO Andy Son, you can't. You can't support this behavior, guys. You know, every corporate in America or every big Fortune 500, I'm, I'm sure Magic the Gathering has policies where your CEO is not in relationship. I mean, the first thing he does is get in relationships with a female artist, right? Like, guys, this is not acceptable from a human being to human being interaction. This is not um, a game, you know, I actually talked to my girlfriend about it and she's like, no, that's disgusting. I don't want it. Where you favor certain employees because they give you favors, if you will. And and that, that's what Nick and Strength confirmed. Um, I'm sure the artists all felt the same way because even months ago, there were rumors of this. Now, now there is some evidence of it. Why would you support a game that is like that? No, I'm asking you, Argos. Why support a game where it's run by people who... I don't know Andy-san. I've never talked to him. I've never met him. But he's a bad dude. 